Good day everyone, welcome to my beauty creativity. Today I want to teach us how to make this beautiful veil net princess hat. Veil net princess hat. Materials needed, you need a um, princess mat. Oh sorry, princess hat. I'm using the ready-made one. So this is how it comes. This is how it comes. You see, very nice. This is the ready-made one. Then we'll be needing our veil net. I'm doing good today. We need um trimmings, tiny trimmings. You need it. You need your um brooch. And uh, for this particular design, I want to cheat. I'll need this. I'll need my stick. Stick. I've already coiled my my stick. Then you need your UHU gun and your paper. Then your Harley's band and your scissors. So let's get started. Now I've already started working on this. I will explain and you will all understand it. This is how the cap comes without this veil net. I'm the one that started attaching it to it. So let's assume this is the cap. This is the cap without anything. So this net I bought, I got two yard. Though I'm not going to finish the two yard, I just Start working with two yard. I don't want anything to uh, be short, so I will work with this two yard. When I get to where I want to stop it, that means I will cut off the excess. So when you check that design very well, the veil net covers like three quarter of the head. It covers like three quarter of the head. So now to work on it, you put your you take your UV gum your UHU gum, apply it, apply it at the tip, at the tip, apply it at the tip of your princess hat, apply it at the tip of your princess hat, for example, let me show us, this is how it is, you put it at the tip here, put your UHU gum at the tip here, lightly, don't let it be too much, then don't put it at once, do the Put it on the length that you can control, the comfortable length, the convenient length for you. Then you take your veil net, you take your veil net, this is my veil net. You see, this is how this veil net is. This is the veil net, you see, this is how it is. So you take your veil net, the longer part of the veil net, the length part. You allow the gum to dry a bit, then at the tip also you place it on it. You place it on. You see, I'm doing it inside of the hat, not on the hat, based on the design, because that's what is on that design I'm replicating. So it's inside the tip of the hat. Then you place your uh, trimmings. This trimmings is to hold it down. Is to hold it down and to make it. Neat. I still have a little gum here, so I'll place my veil net at the tip also, at the tip, and put my trimmings on it to hold it down. So I'll use my hand to hold it so that it will glue. You hate your gum doesn't glue immediately, so that it will it will glue. So I'll continue like that. I'll continue like that. I'll take my UHU gum, my UHU gum, put it at the tip, inside, at the tip, inside tip of my, of my, um, princess hat, of my princess hat. I like to dry a bit and put my veil net on it, put my veil net on it, be careful so that it will skews, it will skew, so, you place your uh, trimmings. You place your trimmings. Use your hand. Use your hand to hold it down so that it will come. Use your hand to your finger to hold it down so that it will come. Then you continue like that. Place at the tip also. Place your trimmings. Place your trimmings on it. Place your trimmings on it. Use your hand and let your work be neat, please. Let your work be very neat. Be neat. 
So I started working on this from this stick. You can see the inside, you can see the neatness. You can see this, this is where I started from. So I've done like three quarter of the heart is covered now. So as you can see it, I have something like this. I have something like this. You can see it's coming out beautiful. It's coming out beautiful. Let me place it on my mannequin so that you can see it very well. So we can see how beautiful it's looking on the mannequin. On the mannequin. So these are it will be. So if you don't want this neck to be as long as this, you can cut it off or make it neat and rhyme when you are cutting it. Let it be. Make sure it is neat and rhyme when you are cutting it. So I'm okay with the length of where it's covered. It has covered from this part up to this part, like three quarter of the heart. So I'll cut off the excess of the um, veil neck. So I have cut out the excess of the veil now. So I'm okay with this one. See, this is just the small part that remains. But I want you to see something. That's why I continue this video. So I will not cut my my trimmings here. I will not cut my trimmings here. It will look somehow. So I will just use the trimming to finish everything. I will make sure the trimmings go right. It's so that it won't look rough. Like me cutting it here, cutting it here, it will make my work um not a professional at all. So what I will do is after gumming, after gumming down this remaining um veil net, veil net on on my princess, on my princess part, after gumming it down, so I'll put my trimmings, I'll make sure my trimmings go around the T of the of the art go around the tip of the hat so that my work will not look uh, um, rough it will look neat and uh, more professional so that's what i'm going to do for the whole um, princess hat so i have put my chimney around the whole the tip of the hat so this uh the last part i'll make sure i do it neatly i join it neatly nothing must be rough in your work so just join it neatly so we are done with placing our our veil net the face of our of princess art. Um, can you see how beautiful it is looking? So it's very simple. It's not something that is hard. Just take your trimmings and your veil net and put your gum at the tip of your hat. Then place your veil net on it. Place your veil net on it and uh, use your trimming to hold it down, to tape it down. So for the decoration on it, it's not something that is too um, hard. It's not something that is hard. So they put a stick on it as a decoration. I think there are two sticks on it. So I've already called my called my stick as I mentioned earlier. So you are the one that will place it any way you want it, anyhow you want it. You see, I think it's okay like this. Then you take your you take your brush. Can use flower, but what is on the uh, design is brooch and tag it down. So what all what you do here is to take your needle and thread, you tag down your tag this one down, you tag tag it down neatly. Or uh, uh, needle and thread or needle and fishing line. If you are using fishing line, use zero point three five fishing mm. That's the diameter of the fishing line. So you just tag it down. I'm sorry, I don't have my needle here. That's why. I'm not doing that aspect so, so just tag it down once you tag it down take the same needle and fishing line use fishing line so that you know fishing line is colorless so that it won't show on this uh, brooch then you tag the brooch on it also you can see how beautiful our design is when you are placing your decoration make sure it falls at the front 
or maybe beside at the front or beside so you check the arrangement very well it's a very lovely design beautiful design so and very easy and not time consuming to to make so it's something that you can make and get your good profit on it so please try as much as possible to lay your hand to try it to work on it to try it and uh, you can provide your feedback please if you are new on this channel kindly subscribe to my channel for more and turn on this notification bell for more educative um videos from us you can follow us on instagram also at mbc creativity 20 and on facebook we are majestic grand creations thank you